but we have very new challenges, as I said, the larger population, but we have almost uh, 13 million people who are old. And not only they have arthritis, uh, they also have severe hip fractures and other fractures where the conventional treatment is likely to fail. We are now trying to attend these meetings and have a very different perspective in training in these conferences. And I'm glad Dr. Reddy had initially, second issue, we are also concentrating to bring in cost. And I, we must all remember that it should not be cheap, it should be cost effective. If we can produce supercomputers and nano, Indians can produce a joint for sure because we are also putting a, you know, a satellite. So I think today we are also making an effort and I can tell you that way back in 1993, Dr. Rawat had advised and he was actually interested in creating this technology here. Today it is possible there are joints particularly for him and me which are manufactured they are pretty good for their cost, but we need to further collaborate and have the joint which likely to bring the cost down. The main part we are trying to do is also to submit a report to the government that by not doing what's going to happen. And this is related to patients with severe crippling arthritis known as rheumatoid arthritis. And our study showed that most of these patients who cannot afford they are hospitalized seven, eight times because of drug-related problems like bleeding from the mouth, hematomesis. And we end up spending much more money than doing a hip knee replacement for them, so they are ambulatory. So our association today is trying to put efforts and put it to the government that we need to do it. So, and government by not doing, by hospitalization, is losing far more money. And last time which I reported to our government was from one hospital, we found out more than 400 patients, which were part of complication because of drug therapy was in December. And we found out it would have been better if the government was to spend their stay instead of five admissions and 30 days, would have been seven days, their stomach will not be sick, they will be very healthy because those cases where we did this operation of the social health. So we need to look it up, not only from advance, but we look it up from the problem of A, offering this treatment to our people, B, analyzing what are we losing by not doing it, and C, also see the man of us lost, the quality of life. And that's the reason today, since the young people attending these conferences, listening to the people get impressed. So this specialty is now becoming number one specialty. So it's our responsibility, Dr. Reddy, that we involve persons like Dr. Prophet and Dr. Ranawat, continue our teaching program with a single, single-minded uh, <coughs> commitment that the knowledge will part they will be able to apply that knowledge. And I think that's our effort. So our association after these meetings is going to do clear cut things. Put money in research, award fellowships, encourage young people, have international exchange so that we update ourselves, not only in knowledge, but our approach as to how we can give better quality of life to our people who are crippled. Thank you.